Welcome, in front of me is a POCO X3 and today I will show you how to transfer files from your phone to an SD card or vice versa. And to get started we will need to open up the files app, disregard this. Files app, so file manager, there it is. Select it, allow. Mm, new features, I don't want new features. So once you're in the app, tap on the folder right over here. This will show you basically everything that is right now on the internal storage. So we're now on the storage of the device. And uh, if you tap on the drop down, you also have the SD card, which has almost the exact same uh, folders in there. But to get started, uh, number one, we have a couple different folders that are well, probably of interest to you. So DCIM folder will contain photos, videos that you have captured with the device itself. Then we have the downloads folder, which will contain anything that I have downloaded either to our web browser or email and stuff like that. It all gets saved into the downloads folder. Then below that we should have a pictures folder, which normally contains screenshots. Not sure if that's still the case here. Um, and well, that's about it. Majority of the other folders are usually empty, uh, at least from the typical stuff that we would be looking for. Uh, so you have movies, music, uh, what else is there? Android, uh, podcasts, uh, ringtones. So like I said, those folders will be primarily empty uh, if you haven't downloaded any kind of app that will use those folders specifically. Um, so let's find our files, which for me, it's gonna be under the DCIM camera. There we go. And once you find it, uh, I'm just using pictures as an example, but basically every kind of file has almost the same uh, property, which is if it's just a file, you have this circle, which you can tap on to select it. And uh, you also have folders, as you can see, which do not have a circle. So to select them, you simply hold it. And then you can tap on additional folders if you want. Uh, so select files, uh, whichever you want you want. And once they're selected, choose either to move them or under more, you have copy. Copy will create additional set of them, well move them, we'll completely move the ones that are right here to a new location and remove them from here. So I'm gonna go with move. And once you choose one of the options, you will have the option to move it to either the internal storage, which that's where they are right now, but we can just change the location where they are exactly. Or we can move it to a completely different storage like the SD card, which that's what I'm gonna choose. And from here you can open up any kind of folder, create a new one if you want to, or just simply drop it right over here, which that's what I'm doing. And as you can see, now they're at the bottom right over here. And if we go back to the internal storage, you can see that uh, three of them are missing. There were five, now there are only two. So that is how you would move, copy any kind of file from one location to another. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.